Welcome to a lesson on determining the regular savings amount needed to reach a financial goal. In this video, we'll use the value of an annuity formula to achieve a financial goal through a regular savings plan. If we solve the formula here, you should determine the value of an annuity A for the value P, where P is the regular deposit amount. We would have this formula here where P will give us the regular savings amount needed to reach our financial goal of A. Let's quickly show how we can solve this equation for P. If we multiply both sides by R over N, this would simplify out. We'd be left with A times R over N equals P times the quantity of 1 plus R over N to the NT power minus 1. And now to solve for P, we can just divide by this quantity here. And the right side simplifies nicely, so now we have P equals this fraction here, which is the formula that we can use to determine our regular savings amount to reach our financial goal of A. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's say you want to purchase a car in four years and you want to pay cash for the car and have determined that it will cost $15,500. If you are going to make monthly deposits into an account that pays 6% interest compounded monthly, what would be the amount of the monthly deposits? And how much interest would you earn over this period? So in this case, our monthly payment P required to reach our financial goal of $15,500, which is A, multiply this by R over N, where R is our interest rate, so 0 0.06, divided by N, which is the number of compounds per year. It's monthly, so N is 12. And then we'll divide this by 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 12, all raised to the N times T power. We just said N was 12. T is time in years, and we're saving for four years. So it's 12 times 4 minus 1. Let's go ahead and evaluate this on our calculator. So our numerator is going to be 15,500 times 0 0.06 divided by 12. So there's our numerator divided by our denominator 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 12. This will be raised to the power of 12 times 4. That will be 48 minus 1. And then close parenthesis for our denominator. So we'll have to save $286 and approximately 52 cents per month if we want to pay cash for this car. Now the second part asks us how much interest would be earned over this four year period. Well, we'll pay this amount 12 times a year for four years, so that value would represent the amount paid into the account. So to figure this out, we'll take the ending account balance, which is 15,500. Well, we deposited $286.52 every month. So that will be times 12 for the number of months per year times 4 for the number of years. So we would earn $1,747.04 in interest over this four-year period. Now for the second example, I'm going to look at the same problem but just change the time frame for the savings. So the only difference on this problem here is that you're going to save for two years instead of four years. So the formula will be exactly the same, except now t will be equal to 2. So 
So we'll have 12 times 2 as our exponent here. Now let's go back to our calculator and see how much more we're going to have to save if we only save for two years. There's our numerator. Our exponent here is going to be 12 times 2. That'll be 24. And there's our denominator. So now if we only save for two years, we have to save $609.47 per month which will obviously be a lot more difficult to do. Now let's go ahead and determine how much interest would be earned over the two-year period compared to the four-year period. So the ending account balance is still going to be $15,500, but our payments are only over two years now. So we'll have the monthly savings amount times 12 payments per year times two years. So over the two-year period, we only earned $872.72. So this really begins to illustrate the power of compounded interest. As you probably all know, cars are not a very good investment. Cars depreciate on average of 15% per year, according to CarsDirect.com. So really, you could save quite a bit of money by purchasing a used car instead of a brand new car. Maybe not this car pictured here, but you probably could save a considerable amount of money. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.